there's one skill that I learned a lot on this trip, and I learned it mainly because I, I didn't learn how to speak Thai or any of the other languages, and that was how to read, uh, read people's faces and read their body language. And I would say for the most part, I can understand what people are saying, you know, at least 50% of what they're saying, just by watching their expressions and listening to their tone and, you know, watching where they're looking and, and uh, you know, their mannerisms. You know, and they say that body language is about 90% of our communication and only 10% is verbal. So if you think about it, it's very important in a survival situation and traveling to learn how to read body language could actually save your life, you know. If, you know, if someone has like ill harm towards you, you might be able to, to read that. You know, and some people are naturally good at it. I think women in general are better at reading body language than men. But it's definitely something you can study. You know, you can study to see the main main uh, things, you know, like say if someone has their arms crossed, they're um, being defensive, you know, if someone looks up like that, they're thinking, you know, and they could be thinking of a lie, you know, and little things like that, it's almost like you really can't study it, it's more, like I said, how I learned it was that I didn't learn how to speak the language, so I really started observing people and trying to determine, like, what do they mean, what are they saying, and I, and I can pretty much understand for the most part, and use sign language and communicate with people. I can communicate with people who have an open mind to communicate like that, and I can understand what they're saying. I think it's a really useful, uh, like I said, travel and survival skill that's worth learning.